let me quickly explain a bug that I found on a program on a private platform. We have this website that's selling clothing and related products. On a particular product page you have a photo of the product and uh, you have the description and you also have an interesting feature which allows even unauthenticated users to upload photos. Now the big catch here is that uh, when you upload a photo there is a little window pop-up that allows you to fill in the details with your photo. Now in this uh, window you have a name, a detail parameter, so you have a name field, a detail field and you also have the option to browse your local storage for a photo that you want to upload for that product. And you also have services like Facebook, Instagram and different social media which would allow you to upload photos directly from your profile on those media. And that's something that I haven't tested yet. It was quite interesting for me that uh, a website allows even um, unauthenticated users to upload whatever whatever photos they might, might want to upload. What if you would upload porn, for example? But the thing is, and this is the catch, when you submit this form, this user upload form, for example with a photo from your local storage, the photo actually goes into moderation and it has to be approved by someone. So in this case, what I did was to actually look at the uh, requests that were made when submitting this form. I actually looked into uh, the history of my web proxy. So I found a call that was made to this photo service, uh, photo API service, and it had a uh, create photo and it also had a parameter for the API key that, that was really interesting. We had the exposed API key. Now, not all API keys uh, are actually sensitive keys, but in this case I decided to actually look further into it. So I inspected the documentation of the photo service and I found that there are a lot of methods for actually looking into the albums of the specific user tied to the API key. So you could list the albums, you could even create new users, and what was interesting and what I later found is that the API key did not have permissions for all those potential uses, but only for a few of them. And I believe that uh, upon further inspection of the API, one could become very granular into granting permissions for different API keys. Anyway, when you submit this field with your photo, with your sexy female photo for example for a product that's a shoe when you do this there's a parameter in the post request called approved which actually stands for the moderation status of, uh, of the photo because some of the users like for example if you are an authenticated user you might have the status of being pre-approved so whatever photo you want to send is being pre-approved to the product. Now in this case the approved status was false and also the pre-approved status was false. So in this case the photo went into moderation. What I tried doing is uh, modifying upon inspecting the documentation of the API I was able to see that there was um, a call that you can make to actually approve uh, photos directly via an API call. So I modified a GET request which had a parameter approve the ID of the photo which I would get from the request and the API key. And I would actually change the approved from false to approved to true. Now when I uploaded the photo I actually specified the name as being a very simple XSS payload, so I believe it was Script Alert 1, the very most basic XSS payload. When I got the OK from the response of the request, I refreshed the product page and lo and behold this triggered the XSS and also displayed the female photo that I posted for that uh, product, which was a shoe. Level up your skills in bug bounty hunting and penetration testing with my course Recon in Cybersecurity. 
and mastered the fascinating world of reconnaissance. Link below.